Hello, in this video we're making a low poly car. We'll be adding new shapes, editing those shapes in edit mode, moving and scaling objects, and getting used to the interface. So I've got my basic cube in the middle here. Remember, it's middle mouse button to move around your scene. And do remember I've got the screencast keys shown on the bottom left here, if you get confused. And I want to scale this so it's a flat shape at the bottom of the car. I can use my scale tools down here to go to the scale icon and reset them like this. The keyboard shortcuts for these down here are S for scale, uh, G for grab, so I can G and grab, and R for rotate. But you don't get the gizmos to help you. Let's add a cylinder for wheels. I can go to my create menu on the side here and create a cylinder, or I can press shift A as a shortcut. And there's the cylinder. Now do remember, wherever you have your cursor selected, that's where the object's going to appear. So I had mine selected over here, and it appeared over there. So I'm gonna undo that, and I actually want it here. You can go to side view to get more accurate placement, and use your middle mouse button to move around. If I go to top view, I can move it even closer. And there we go. So shift A, add mesh, cylinder. Also down here, when you add a new object, you get different parameters. 32 was fine, and that's the default and radius, depth, and so on. Uh, they're all fine. You can leave the defaults on. As soon as you move it or do anything to it, they disappear. Okay, I want to rotate this by the y-axis going in this direction, 90 degrees. I could get my rotate tools here and move it into place, like so, but it might not be perfectly correct. So I'm gonna undo that, back to my move tool, and instead, I'm gonna press R, Y, 90 and press enter. So I've rotated it in the Y axis going along here by 90 degrees. Now I want to scale it in the X axis to bring it in. So I press S, X, scale X, and then move my mouse sideways to bring it in. And there we go, there's one wheel. Uh, you left click to apply that scale. So that's fine for one wheel for the moment. I want another one over here but I'm gonna make this a smaller wheel, so it's gonna be a dragster racing car. In order to duplicate items, you press Shift D. I like to, at this point, if you move around, you've got your duplication here and you're in grab mode, uh, but I like to right click at this point and know it's exactly the same place as the old one. Then I can just grab the move tool in the Y axis and move it across. And at this point, I want to scale it down. So I press S to scale and scale it down. But what's happened is it scaled all the axes and it's a much smaller wheel, and I want them to be a similar size. So I'm gonna undo that. If I press scale and then shift X, it will scale in both axes except the X axis. Let's go to the side view by pressing three on our numpad, and then I can move this down level with the other one. Now this is a good point to introduce perspective and orthographic. Orthographic view takes out the perspective. Can you see how we can sort of see the side of this cylinder, in orthographic, it's perfectly flat. So five on your numpad is orthographic, and then I can get these two uh, nice and level. I'm gonna bring out the front of my car in a second, so that will make more sense. Can you see how I'm still in orthographic mode, and I'd like to be back in perspective mode, so I press five on my numpad again, and I'm back to perspective mode. Do remember to right click to select the different objects, and we're now gonna edit this shape uh, to be more like a car. To do that, we're gonna go into edit mode. Down here, we've got edit mode. So we're in object mode, we're going to edit mode. And then I can select vertices, edges, or faces. Vertices are the points. Edges, of course, are the edges. And I'm right clicking to select these. You can shift select to select multiple edges. And faces are, of course, the faces. I'm gonna move this face so select the front face with right click, and I'm gonna move it outwards. And I'm gonna to go to edge mode, and bring this edge down. So we've got some sort of shape. I'm gonna to go to the back face, and move it backwards. A quick shortcut, instead of using these buttons, is Control Tab, and you've got the options then there. I need some more edges across here in order to make my shape work. We need to create what's called a loop cut. You hold Control and press R and that will create this purple line. You then click once with your left mouse button and you can move it up and down. And then you press the left mouse button once again to designate its position. Now we're in edge mode, so I can select these edges. I'm gonna bring this edge up slightly 
and I'm going to select this face. Remember, control tab to get this menu, select this face, and this time I want to pull this face out. If I just pull it out, it's going to make a funny shape like that. That's not what I want. Control Z to undo. You press E to extrude. So you press E and then you get this and I'm moving my mouse up and down at this point and I want it there. So I'll left click and I'll scale it in by pressing S to scale. So let's have a look at that. Always rotate around your object to make sure you're happy. I think I'll move this face back a little bit like that. And there I'm relatively happy. I can resize things as we go. Okay, I'm going to get a bit more complicated. I'm going to edit the wheels so they look a bit better. Tab is back into object mode. So this menu, you can flick between the last one you had by pressing tab. So I'm back in object mode because I pressed tab. And I'm going to select the wheel. Now I'm rethinking it and I'd like a big fat wheel at the back. So I'm going to move it out and press S, X to scale in the X axis and move my mouse. There we go. A nice big wheel. And I want to scale it up a bit more. So it's really ludicrous. And I'm just moving it about, moving it back into position. This shape here could be rotated. So I'll rotate in the X axis, R, then X, and rotate it, moving my mouse side to side, like that, and move it up slightly. And I think I might actually make these wheels a bit thinner. So scale them in the X axis, S, then X, and make my mouse move inwards, then I'll move it into place. Remember, right click to select, and then I'm just moving the handles. Now I want to edit this wheel so it looks more like a wheel. Tab into edit mode, select that face, the outside face, press extrude and right click. Okay, so that's applied my extrusion. Right click will make sure it goes in exactly the same place as the original. So there's an extrusion here. If I look at this, I've got faces in here. That could be a common problem for beginners that they have extra faces and then they press extrude again thinking there aren't any and then they do their scale and you've got extra faces in here. Uh, so make sure you don't do that. So I've undone what I, my last step, extrude, right click and press S to scale it down. There we go. And then if I press S and then X this time, it will constrain it to the X axis and I can move it in. Now I haven't made my tire thick enough. I think I want it in the middle here. So what I need to do, I can press control tab to go to edge mode. I can select this edge loop here by alt clicking that and then shift alt clicking the middle one. So alt click will select an edge loop, very handy that. And then I can scale both those in and there we go. I need to do the same with the front wheel. So tab out of edit mode, right click to select, tab into edit mode. Control tab to select the face and select the outside one, extrude, right click and then scale it inwards. About there is good, then extrude and and then constrain it to the x-axis. So we have two wheels and we need some over this side. What I can do is grab both of these and press Shift D. And I've right clicked so they're in exactly the same place. And then I can drag them over to this side. Now they're the wrong way around. If I scale x minus one, they're the right way around. So let's flip them around. That's like a mirror command in other programs. So I'm gonna do a tiny bit of editing now to, and I'll speed it up. Uh, so you can see the screencast keys that I'm using down here and hopefully you'll get the idea of how I created different parts. You can of course select multiple objects at the same time, multiple faces or edges, and move them together, like I've done here. That's the basics of creating and editing shapes. In the next section we'll be adding colour to our car. Thanks for watching.